If you've looked into building your own crypto mining rig, you might be surprised at how expensive GPUs are costing recently. Partly because there's a higher demand for GPUs explicitly for the purpose of mining with them, retailers run out of stock almost instantly. And then the resale price of these GPUs stacks even higher. I mean, look at this. What, what is this? How do you get a hold of this many as an individual? This following graph shows the original retail price at the launch of a few common graphics cards. In comparison to the average resale price on sites like eBay in December 2020. And then also the resale price in March 2021. Because GPU crypto mining seems to get more and more expensive, people like me are looking into alternative ways to mine with hardware without GPUs. I found an incredibly unique way to start mining crypto with hardware that only costs $5. This device right here is an Arduino microcontroller. If you're into electronics like me, you might already have one of these laying around your house. But with these microcontrollers, you can actually start mining cryptocurrency today. Yes, you heard that right, with an Arduino. The same exact devices that you can use to make crazy LED cubes. This one right here in my hand is the Arduino Uno, and it can cost you anywhere from $10 to $20. But this one right here is the Arduino Nano, and this tiny one can go as low as $5 and can also mine crypto. And the very interesting thing is that people are already trying to start small crypto mining farms with these Arduinos. Today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can get started mining with these Arduinos. And once we get that set up, I'm going to be able to show you guys exactly how much we earn using these dirt cheap microcontrollers. Let's get into it. Now, if you don't have an Arduino, I left links in the description of a bunch of Arduino boards that are compatible with the coin that we're mining. I personally suggest you get the Nano, like the one I'm showing you in the screen right here. But if you're just starting out, any of these will do. But if you actually want to get into electronics and breadboarding and make stuff like that LED cube while also learning how to crypto mine, then I suggest you get a full blown Arduino Uno kit instead, like this one, for example. And I also put a link to this in the description as as well. For this specific tutorial though, you can just get one of these nanos and let's move on. And once we get those Arduinos ready, we need to go to duinocoin.com and this is going to be the coin that we're mining. This coin is so great and interesting. If we actually go to the team over here, you can see that the primary developers over here are only 17 to 20 years old. These guys are incredibly young and I respect their hustle so much. Anyway, we don't have to worry about that. We can go ahead and click on the get started button to go through what we need. Scroll down to download the latest release and you should download whichever one that fits your needs. Actually, I think this one is just an image, right? <laughs> yeah, so you can click on whatever you want over here and it won't matter yet until you're on the GitHub page. And then once you finally get to the GitHub page, scroll down and now you have to be specific about which one you need to select. So for me, it's Windows, click on Windows, and I'm gonna download it to wherever I need to download. All I did was download the zip to my desktop, extract it, and we get a bunch of these files and executables over here. The one that we wanna open the first is the wallets.exe or the wallet.whatever for you. If you're using a different operating system, then it might not be exe. And once you have that opened up, you should see a GUI wallet somewhat similar to this. Of course, we don't have an account yet, so let's click register to register for our account. My username's gonna be Ted Gets Bread, of course, and my password is gonna be... Uh, you think I was gonna tell you my password? <laughs> Moving on, register. And the registration is successful. The new user has been registered successfully. You can now log in. Log into my account by typing in my stuff. And we are in, folks. Obviously, we haven't mined anything yet, so we have a balance of zero right now, but we're about to get there. Don't worry, we're so close. As you can see, this is pretty much a full-fledged wall over here where you can check out how many Duino coins you have, what the approximate conversion rate is. You can send out Duino coin to other people. And once we actually get our Arduino set up, we can see how much profit we're making with them as well. All right, folks, so we downloaded everything. We set up our wall with an account. Now, what do we do? Well, we gotta go back to our Arduino now and use our cable to plug into our computer because we're about to upload some code to this thing. 
Now once you're plugged in, you're probably going to see a blinking light or an LED show up on your Arduino. That means your Arduino is working properly and we can actually move on. If you don't have the Arduino IDE installed already, go to arduino.cc, go to the software section, and you can see the Arduino IDE, all these download options here. I have a Windows device, so I'm going to click on Windows. They're going to ask you to kindly support Arduino by giving a donation. If you don't have the money, don't stress about it. You don't have to donate. You can go ahead and click just download. Once we have the Arduino IED installed, hold on a second. <laughs> I just realized in my recording, I said IED instead of IDE. <laughs> I told you guys to install an improvised explosive device. <laughs> Go back to the Arduino coin folder we just extracted earlier, and you should see a folder called Arduino underscore code. Open that, you should see the Arduino icon to the left of this thing that says Arduino underscore code here. Go ahead and open it, and you should see all the Arduino coin code right here that we're gonna need to upload to our Arduino. Before we try to upload it though, we have to go to top left, click on tools, Go down until you see board, and make sure this board really is the board that you plug into your computer. Like I mentioned earlier, the one I'm using is the Arduino Nano, so I'm good here, that's selected. But if you have the Arduino Uno, for example, you need to make sure to click on that instead. Then go over to your processor, hover over that one. You need to make sure that the processor is the exact one that's inside of your Arduino. How do you do this? Well, it probably tells you on the specs of wherever you're purchasing it from, but for Amazon, it literally tells us that it's the Atmega 328 right over here. And yes, we do have the Atmega 328P selected. Go over to your port. If you only have one Arduino connected to your computer, you're only going to see one selection over here anyway. So select it. Once all that's done, you wanna click on the upload button. And fantastic, it says that we're done uploading the code. We don't need the Arduino IDE anymore, so let's exit out of it. Once again, go back to the folder where you have a bunch of your Arduino coin stuff, and this time you want to click on avr underscore minor dot exe, and you're probably going to see a command line interface that looks somewhat similar to this over here. Enter your Arduino coin username, this is whatever you put in your registration, mine is Ted Gets. Red configuration tool has found the following ports COM7. So it actually already recognizes that my Arduino right here is on my COM7 port. They are correct that it's COM7. So I'm just going to type in COM7 again. Do you want to add another board? I don't have another board. So I'm just going to type in N, enter. Do you want to add an identifier name to this rig? We don't have to. So I'm going to go N again. Set a developer donation level. 0 through 5, recommended 1. This will not reduce your earnings. Sure, I'll go ahead and set a 1 developer donation level and check it out. We are connected to the Duino coin server and we are already getting accepted over here. After we're all set up with our mining, we're getting accepted, we can actually go back to our wallet and see that we're starting to get Duino coin inside of our wallet now. We can also go to the estimated profit section and see how much per day on estimate we're going to get from mining this. I just want to make a note real quick as well that this 1.4 Duco is from me mining in the past as well. So don't just expect to get 1.4 Duco immediately after you start mining. <laughs> And once we're here, we might as well test out and see if the transactions work by sending one Duino coin to Revox, the founder of Duino coin. Let's test this out. Send Duco. Are you sure you want to send one Duco to Revox? Let's try it out. And then it says we've successfully transferred our funds. Now, while we're mining, I also want to show you guys some other cool tools we have available from the Duino Coin team as well. We can actually go to wallet.duinocoin.com, type in our username and password, and check that out. You can see all the information on your wallet, but in a nicer web format instead. Check this out. You can even see the transaction that I just made earlier. And while we're here, we can also scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the Duino Coin Exchange. Click on that, and you should be directed to a page that looks somewhat similar to this, where you can see the different kinds of pairs that we can exchange our coin for. Go ahead and click on that, and start using the service to exchange your Duino Coins for other coins. Now, that's the main tutorial for you guys, but real quick, I just want to address the development team on Duino Coin and also the founder, Revox. Revox was posting some news about 
taking a break from Duino Coin, and in his message, he sounded pretty pissed off. He was pretty much saying that most of what he was hearing from people were complaints, and that he needs to take a step back from the project. And my response to that is, I 100% agree. Revox and the entire development team, I hope you guys understand how awesome of a project it is that you're creating and how novel it is. And it's so awesome that you guys are doing this at such a young age as well, even while you guys have to go to school. <laughs> when I was as old as you guys, I was just playing first person shooters all day. <laughs> you guys are incredibly intelligent and Revox, I totally respect your decision for taking a break. And this is a great life lesson for everyone else watching this video you as well. For those of you who feel discouraged, tired, angry, or even hopeless, please take the time to recharge by taking some breaks every now and then. And then when you're ready to come back, come back even stronger than you were before. Don't just give up and leave. There's a Banksy quote that reads, if you're tired, learn to rest, not to quit. And with that said, my name's Ted and let's get this bread.